Hi everybody, it's me, Lindsay Malloy, and welcome back to my channel. This week I'm planning the week of, it is June 25th until the 1st. Um, and I just wanted to quick sh um, quickly show you just a quick little flashback on last week's. Um, again, I filmed things on Thursdays and really haven't touched this area yet. I mostly touch this during the weekends and maybe I'll probably start touching this soon. Um, so yeah, this week I am using the kit called Jessie and it is by Paper Focus and it is this beautiful summer, really like pop art kit that I just think is absolutely beautiful. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited to use this kit. It has quite a bit of these like full checkbox things. I don't know that I'll use all of those. Um, but yeah, it's, um, doesn't have quite as much like um, headers and things like that, but um, yeah, I think it'll be fun. I really love the colors in this kit and I think it's super adorable. I mean, look at how bright and vibrant that is. Um, and I wanted to save a, my summer kits really for when it was officially going to be summer. And this, um, today actually that I'm filming is the first day of summer. So, um, yeah, I wanted to use this for the first week of summer. And so, yeah, I will go ahead and get started with the flip through. Um, first, I'll just take off my um, little bookmark there. Take my insert out of my planner. And this is the last week actually in this insert. So I will start a new insert soon. Um, and I'm not sure if I want to continue with the inserts, I don't know. Or do I want to go back to an Erin Condren? Um, let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love somebody's input just to get an idea of like, what do you use or what do you think I should do? Um, I think I might continue using these inserts. Um, I love the full length. I love having a sidebar and I love having the weekend. I just don't use these sections here really at all. Um, I feel like this part I do use, but I could condense that into the weekend a little bit. Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe I just might need to go back to the Erin Condren. I don't know. But what I was planning on using my Erin Condren for was memory planning. Um, so next week, which is really the first week of summer, is going to be the first week of memory planning for me. Um, or do I want to go back and just using this as a planner? I don't know. I can't decide because I love this. I love Erin Condren so much. I love the paper quality. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, but I love having the luxurious feel of leather and having just everything at my fingertips, including a whole monthly insert that I can flip through my, um, women's monthly tracker. Um, in case you haven't seen that, it is on the stickyfox.com available for download for you to print to yourself in the B6 size. Um, I just love being able to decorate these, the shopping list. I am definitely guilty of being a planner flipper. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I think that's okay. Right. Um, but yeah, I like having my shopping lists in here cause I do take this to the grocery store and set this in the cart. Um, I use this little perpetual planner thing as kind of a memory a day sort of thing. Um, and then I have just like a plain notebook in here that I have like notes and things like that. So I don't know. I definitely use this, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to continue using it as my official planner, which I think I do. I think I do. I think what I need is just to switch into my new one, the Lush one that I just got. If you haven't seen that, that's also in a haul. Um, but I don't know, I love, I just, who just loves to feel their hair and conjure planner? Like the paper is amazing. Um, but yeah, I will pro definitely be showing you how I set up my first week because it's kind of gonna be like a, a plan with me, really. Um, 
learning to memory plan with me in this planner. Um, I plan on using this, adding stickers, um, adding um, pictures, things like that, some journaling, and I really want to keep this as like a memory keepsake almost. So since I love these planners so much, that's kind of why I want to use it as a memory planner rather than just a regular planner. Um, regular planning, I mean, I don't want to keep that kind of stuff forever. I don't know. Now I feel like I'm rambling and <laughs> I'm probably boring you. Um, so yeah, I will get started with the um, fast forward and the plan with me.
Okay, so that is the end of the speed through part. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so I just want to do a quick recap in case um, you're one of those people like me. Sometimes I just speed through. I like to see just kind of the overview of everything at the end. Um, so just a quick recap. Um, I tried up something different, a little bit different. I added this little um, three checklist thing on here and I'm wondering I might use that as like top three priorities or maybe it's like a to-go to list. Um, otherwise, I think I might even just use some of these icons and just kind of have a mismatch. Um, if I like I need to buy a gift or something like that. Um, or if I have a doctor's appointment, I need to schedule something like that. So I don't know. I, it just might be my my extra bit that I need, um, so I don't have to be flipping back and forth um, to somewhere else. Um, another thing that I changed up this week is I moved down the my dinners for the week. Um, this kit did not come with dinner labels, so what I did was I ended up just cutting up. Um, these pieces of full checklists and put them down at the bottom. I'm trying to do something active every day um, or at least Monday through Thursday. Um, so Monday I can't decide if I'm going to do another bike ride or a walk but I will probably either do that or I might go to the rec center and go work out. So I think I might do that but I want to kind of see how I feel on Monday. As far as the rest of the week though, I'm planning on going to my group fitness gym on Tuesdays and Thursday, Tuesday and Thursday. I want to go on a bike ride with my husband around our neighborhood. Um, and then Friday we have a dinner date with one of our friends who is in town. Um, so yeah, um, some a couple things that I keep in every week. Um, and wanted to just make it cute with some lettering is I wanted to have something to look forward to on Monday but first coffee um, I film my plan with me's on Thursdays and I wanted to signify trash day to bring in the trash on Friday um, just lettering filling in these lettering bits here to kind of make it a little bit more pizzazz um, yeah only sticker that wasn't from the only stickers that weren't from the kit were the this currently reading sticker from minted papery and this little bike sticker sheet um i think i got this from pick watch on pick watch on i think um it's just a little sticker sheet you can find these kind of things at michael's or anything like that too um and then this little pizza sticker from the happy planner food sticker book um, moving on to the weekend, I did something a little bit different again over here, and I really like how this turned out. Um, I just kind of covered the top with some washi tape that I have um, in my stash that kind of matched the kit pretty well. Um, it ha even has these little parrots in there too, and these little um, tropical leaves and hibiscus flowers that are in the um, kit full boxes and everything. Um, and then use some glitter washi that was in the kit to cover up the labels here and some glitter washi here to kind of break up the um, washi and also kind of hide the seam. And then I used the deco stickers to kind of just decorate this little list area. And so, yeah, maybe that'll encourage me to use this little checklist a little bit more. It's more of a notes section. I mean, I don't know. What do you use this for? I'm every week. I'm like, I don't use this. I don't know what to do with it. Um, so yeah. Anyways, um, here on the weekend, I have some other stickers here. These are from Happy Daya. I had a little bit of an accident with this one. Um, if you saw that, but yeah, it's okay. It, it'll stay down. I think. <laughs> um, yeah, just mark down here my dinners to plan for the following week. I usually only plan for like Monday through Friday and then the weekends we do um, like, I don't know, just whatever, grilling, doing something that doesn't involve too much of a plan. Um, forgot to mark down my TV stuff, but that was mainly because there's no little things. So I usually only mark those down when I have a little thing. Um, and then there wasn't really a dot with a TV. I guess that could kind of be considered a TV, but it kind of looks like a computer monitor to me. I'm not sure. So anyways, 
um, yeah, I think I'll probably do only thing that I might do off camera is um, hand letter one more thing. I kept this little me time box, this happy thought box. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. Here, I don't know what I was gonna put. I just kind of used this to fill in the space. And again, I usually use this checklist as kind of a um, things that we did that weekend or a couple to do's. I wanted to also have a little quick checklist um, for my Sunday chores to get ready for the rest of the week. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. This is everything kind of sort of before the pen. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me, before I let you go, I'll take you real quick through the stickers I have left. Um, up here at the top, I didn't really like these too much. I felt it was getting too boxy and I wanted to kind of switch up the shapes a little bit. So this was actually left over from a summer kit that I used last year from Scribble Prints Co. Um, and that's these sheets right here. I just used um, some of these leftovers here and cut them up for my calls. Since it's summer, my calls are really light, which is awesome. Um, then I kind of wanted to go along the same color for each day and um, use those headers to kind of make it not so monotonous in the color um, or monotone really, um, and but still sort of match. I, thought it was so cool that this this old Scribble Prints Co. kind of matched this kit perfectly, almost. Um, but yeah, here's what I have left on this sheet. Sorry for the laundry in the background, but that's how I roll. This section, I'll probably um, end up using these date covers in my Erin um, Condren memory planner. Um, same with the washi at the bottom. I am, been, if you've noticed over the last few times I've been planning, especially in these B6 sizes, I am saving these washies for my Erin Condren. Um, so yeah, it's not, not too many, I mean a bunch of stickers left. I pretty much depleted the um, full box sticker and washi. Just have a couple little flags left. And then, there you go. So, all right. Please give this video a thumbs up if you loved this kit and you want to see more Playing With Me's. Um, I will be filming a my first time memory planning in my new Erin Condren. It is beautiful. I can't wait to use it. Um, so yeah, I plan on doing stamping in here. Um, kind of really not using this as a planner tradition as in a traditional way or in a traditional memory planning way that you've seen on most plan with me's I really want to bring back my roots of scrapbooking so look forward to that um, the first week is the 25th through the first so you'll probably see that video um, around maybe this following week because I'll I'll want to memory plan this week so I'll probably film it the following week so yeah um, yeah, so look forward to that. Just a heads up on what's coming. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can check that out. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.